What's up, shooters? My name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to this few patrons video that I'm making for Solaris. Sub Solaris, how you doing? Uh, this is going to be a review, if we switch over to here, of uh, J. Chow's Bedtime Stories. So we're going to listen through this track from start to finish, and we're going to hear what we think. I haven't come across this before, so this is new for me. Obviously, I've listened to J. Chow before, but um, it'll be nice to hear another side of him. So that's cool. Let's get into it. Let's go. Oh, okay. This is kind of fun, isn't it? So it's like a flippy out book kind of groove, isn't it? Oh, these drums are fun with the uh, kind of very sort of percussive staccato ish strings. And you've got that uh, music box kind of vibe there, which puts people to sleep like a lullaby. That's a nice touch as well. <laughs> yeah, I think Jay Chow is having a bit more fun with this one, isn't it? I think he is. Got the clean vocals as well, and we've got some rapping here. Really slick transition to it with this additional accompaniment of like a filtered synth on top as a sequencer. On the sides, that's kind of dope. I like the decision there. Just Solaris did provide me with lyrics as well, which I appreciate. So we're gonna have a look at the translations after the video. But um, the music's hella engaging at the moment, you know. Oh, that riser there! I haven't really heard one like that specifically. That kind of how it spins around the headphones and stereo field. I think that's really cool. A man that can rap, sing, and dance, dude. He's got it all, hasn't he? Repetition of that vocal melody, nice and catchy. Again, that uh, 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 oh, oh, you know, that's a nice catchy little uh, change. It's more onomatopoeic than telling a story, but I don't, you can have that at the end of a chorus section if you've already said enough words. You know, people can have a break from the tale that's being told and just appreciate how the vocals are effectively, or additionally, another separate melodic layer on top of this really intricately woven track. Oh, a harpsichord. Smart move here, a nice bit of development for this uh, second, for the second act. Oh, that's kind of creepy, isn't it? Oh, how do they... Oh, that's like a trick that they can do where they like, um... I think they, they either use strings to be able to get that kind of effect, or they have them like... Like they might have flip the camera like 90 degrees, so they're actually on the floor but they're like making it look like they're standing. I don't know how to describe it. And the bell tolls for thee, right? And guitar? I haven't heard anything like this before. Um, Jay, Jay is just going on his own little trip, his own little adventure here. I was advised that this is a little bit different from Jay's usual kind of stock of like ballads and, and such. Um, you know, people have told me that his music isn't as good after his like, um, after his 10th album or after 2013 or something like that. I think this was released in 2016. This is plenty fine for me. And I really enjoy this. It's got a great personality to it. You know, even his, even if his voice isn't as quote unquote strong as it used to be, or it, you know, it isn't the same. Again, people age, so you're never going to have the same voice, are you? That's part of that's part of being human is that you don't have the same voice your entire life. You know, regardless of of what you've you've had in terms of ailments.
Again, we've had a repetition of some of the earlier themes here, coming back to it after that really kind of weird section where he was Aphrodite in the seashell. Yeah, it, there's been a lot that's been going on in here. You can tell that the budget for the video was pretty impressive. It's not cheap to make a video like that. But then it's Jay Chow, so he can do it, you know? And back to here. Again, I feel like at this point of the track, when we're already familiar with how the musical themes go in the various sections, a lot of the enjoyment can come from watching the video itself. So this is um, what people have told me about Jay as well, is that a lot of what uh, people appreciate is the fact that the, the, he puts a lot of effort into his videos, you know? That audiovisual experience is very important, the combination of it. But the, but the, the song is totally fine on its own, you know? A lot of effort has been put into this video. I have to, uh, I have to respect that. The the song itself is great. It it does again. It has those instruments which kind of sound like nighttime, and there's like little kids in the video as well, which sort of like, um, which sort of insinuate that uh, how do I say this? They they insinuate this is kind of like made for children, but but also, <laughs> but also at the same time, got these spooky elements and these weird sort of references, and I'm not really sure how to interpret it to be honest. That's why I'm glad we've got the um. So I'm glad we've got the lyrics after this. In that music box to finish it out. Nighty night, kids. Like, to be honest, that's probably one of my favorite Jay Chow tracks. And I'm not just saying that for this, you know, because it's, I'm reviewing him. You know, I, I think it's great. I think that this is something really special. It's a different side of Jay Chow that I haven't heard before. And I really enjoy it. I hope that he does more stuff like this. As I may or may not have mentioned before, I'm going to be reviewing every single Jay Chow studio album as part of a big, big review once we get to 10K subscribers. I will be listening to stuff like this. And I really hope that Jay does more of this in future. Um, it gives me hope when I hear tracks like this. So thank you Sol to Solaris again for for, you, for the suggestion for your first SV Patrons video. But um, uh, we'll get into lyrics. It is told like from this perspective of someone telling a child a bedtime story. You know, once upon a time there was an owl that stood at the top of the house. There was a huge forest behind it, and it was quiet. And there was a piano in the sitting room in the attic. You know, what was that sound? It's got that playfulness there. Which sort of insinuates that, yeah, you're, you're not just talking to an adult about this. This is literally something you could talk to kids about, you know. When you wake up eating an apple, when you don't sleep, there is a legend. Someone would bite your little fingers. Yeah, see, it's playfulness. It's spooky. It's fun, you know. Jay's having a great time with this. It's, um, there's nothing weird or raunchy about it. It's it got a sense of really, it's got, it got a wholesomeness to it, you know. You know, talking about grandfather clocks, he antiques, your oil paintings on the wall. Trying to figure out who's in the wardrobe, see who's hiding there to see who's hiding there. Bedtime stories that made people jealous. Yeah, well, I mean, if you can tell bedtime stories that are that effective, you're probably onto something, right? I'll return to the childhood knock on the door. Oh, it's just kind of like looking back at ourselves, trying to find that sort of sense of wonder and, and innocence that we had as children. Or maybe trying to find that excitement that we had there when we're, you know, we're not completely jaded adults. Return to the childhood knock on the door. Return to the childhood knock on the door. I can hear that in the um, song. And that bum, bum, dun, 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 bum. You know, that, that, rep, that hook line is repeated. And I, I dig it. Bedtime stories. Great track. Because this is, of course, the conclusion for my review of um, J. Charles' track, uh, Bedtime Stories. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time with it. You know, I, I'll remove the video element of it for now. And I'll talk about my time with the music. The story itself, yeah, we've already talked about story within the lyrics. It's, it's basically Jay Child trying to tell a story that like, uh, like a bedtime story to a child, but also acknowledging that adults probably appreciate it as well. And we need to not take things too seriously and return to the childhood and open open the pathway back to our own youth and um, vitality. Uh, I, I liked the way that Jay Chow sung and, and rapped, you know, it's on par with re previous stuff. Again, I think a lot of people are really harsh about the way that Jay Chow performs or sings or raps nowadays. I still, I think it sounds great. As someone who's reviewed thousands of songs, I would say that Jay Chow is definitely up there with a lot of the best people I've reviewed. Um, even if his voice isn't the same as it used to be, you know? He still shows great technique. 
And again, people get older. This was released 15 years after Jay, the original album. So it's fine if he doesn't sound the same, you know? I, I think the words did come through clearly enough, although it's saying that I'm not familiar with the native language that he was speaking. I had the translation there to help. But um, you know, even if he was mumbling occasionally, it didn't wasn't a detriment to the experience and I'm, I enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, the storytelling was interesting and Jay knew how to emote appropriately to the, the different sections like I could tell which parts were referencing which in the song because of the way the lyrics were and how he changed his his approach at different parts I also enjoyed the composition you know like but actually not the composition you said do that last like the, the structuring was a traditional you know verse chorus verse chorus structure with a an interlude at the end like afterwards with that like clamshell kind of thing where he was with the people kind of smiling back at the screen and then he, he went and repeated that chorus refrain a few times and kind of wrote on that hook line and that was basically the track you know we had lots of different instruments like drums bass some guitar parts like into that interlude part piano sort of like harpsichords different synth parts as well very contemporary production but it has still had dynamic range it wasn't pumping or anything like that and of course the production the recording mixing and mastering you know jay chow is on form here in regards to the post-production as well and most if not all of the stuff i've heard from jay chow has been expertly crafted in that part of a part of things and this is no different it sounds like a thoroughly sounds like a major label release major label record and um you know the queuing stereo panning the automation there the the, the fix change on the different parts of the mix there like the reverbs and a really bright kind of starry tones to some of them things were stacked on the frequency spectrum the limiting compression was great got no complaints about that really really awesome song um but yeah thank you very much for watching this sp patrons video uh, this review of Jay Charles Bedtime Stories. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Thank you to Solaris as well for, for requesting that I, I review this one as an SP Patreon video. If you enjoyed this track, please do go show Jay Charles some love via his various social medias and his YouTube page. Stay cool and stay safe, and please also remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As you help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world, and I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands up.